All right, let's head on over to the Play Store. Let's go up to the search bar and type in Drastic. It should be the first emulator on the list. As you can see, mine is already showing purchased. If you haven't paid for it, you will see the $4.99 price tag. Let's go ahead and click on it. And let's go ahead and install. After I downloaded the app, I moved it to my home screen. Now let's open the app. Allow Drastic to access photos, media, and files on your device. Click allow. Allow Drastic to record auto. Allow. Install shortcut to your desktop. No. Now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into change options and we're gonna go into video. All of the video settings on default work well with this emulator, and we really only need to change three things. First, high resolution 3D rendering, click that on. 16-bit rendering, click that on. And disable edge marking, click that on. Keep main screen on top screen, this is optional. If you prefer to have your main screen on the bottom, then you can click this on. If not, leave it alone. All right, let's go back. Let's load new game. Now the nice thing about this emulator is that it will automatically detect where your games are on your Android device. If it doesn't, just click on the black folder and you can locate your games from here. Let's go ahead and load Pokemon Heart Gold. Start game. I know a lot of people love the DS emulators for their Pokemon games. I can't lie, I do also. <laughs> All right, here I am in the game, walking around a little bit. Everything's working. Now if I was to tilt my Android device to the side, you can see we'll go into landscape mode. If I tilt it back, we go into portrait. Now, there's one thing I hate when using Android emulators, and that's these touchscreen buttons. So what I wanna show you guys is how to use the Xbox One controller with this emulator and how to get rid of those touchscreen buttons. Now, as soon as your Xbox One controller has a Bluetooth connection with your Android device, you will be able to use your Xbox One controller with this emulator, and you don't even have to map your buttons out. But let's say you want a custom button layout. So what you wanna do is come down to this little up arrow, and then go to menu, go to options, external controller, select key mapping, Xbox One controller, or if it doesn't say Xbox One controller, click on no mapping, then hit map control. Now it wants you to press the key for X, so select which button you want to be X on your Xbox One controller, Y, B, A, R, L, start, select, up, right, down, left, and we're done. Now to get rid of those touchscreen buttons, now if we go back into our game, as you can see, the touchscreen buttons are gone and we can use our Xbox One controller. Now there's one last thing I wanna show you guys, and that's how to get more screen layout options. So let's go back into our menu, and let's go to select screen layout. And there you go, you have four different options. Thank you for checking out the video, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. 
and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links to my accounts are in the description below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.